Hello everyone, this is Adan from eAcademy and this is the third episode of dealing with missing data in Python. And today we will be looking at imputing missing data when we have time series data. So in the previous videos we have been talking about how and when we can delete the missing data and how to impute missing data when we have a known time series data. So this video is about imputing missing data when we have time series data. So let's get started. So here we are on the overview that we discussed in our first video. The link of the playlist will be in the cards and the description below. So you can definitely check them out because initially we have talked about the deletion of the missing values. And in the last video, we have been talking about the known time series data with the constant filling and the mean, median and mode imputation. Now we have our focus on the time series data on these three approaches, mainly forward filling, backward filling and linear imputation. We will see in detail these three approaches today. So the first approach is known as forward interpolation. In forward interpolation, actually missing values are filled by the last known value. And this is best when the percentage of missing values are small and make it sure that missing values appear at random intervals. And you can use forward interpolation when the values are increasing only in your time series data. And maybe sometimes value do fluctuate, but there is not significant fluctuation. And how it would appear, for example, this is the data you have 1.12, 1.253, so on and so forth to 10.33. And there are these missing values. So because these values are increasing, and there is no significant fluctuation. Uh, obviously, there is no fluctuation at all. The values are just increasing. And we can use forward interpolation for imputing these null values here. All right. So we can do the forward interpolation with this simple command in pandas. Again, there is no need to import any other library to use forward interpolation. You can do that by pandas library so in python command this is the data frame fill na we have to fill the null values the method we are using is forward filling that is f fill and we have to update our data frame so the unit values three at the second id and the forward interpolation when we apply that it is being replaced by the last value that is known so the third and the fourth id is also filled by three with the help of forward filling so there is no rocket science in using forward interpolation in Python. Next, we have to move towards backward interpolation. And yes, you're guessing it right. This is just the opposite of forward interpolation. And we have to fill the missing data with the next known value. And this is the definition of backward interpolation. So you can use backward interpolation when the percentage of missing data is small. And again, your missing data appears on random interval. And this is the basic prerequisite of using backward interpolation that you have a decreasing trend in your time series data. Again, there should be no significant fluctuations. So for example, this is our data and here the data is decreasing as you can see here and there's no fluctuation at all. So let's focus on the null values we have. We have third and the fourth ID that is null that have a missing data. And we have, according to the definition of the backward interpolation, we have to move this value backward and fill third and fourth id with 5.63 this is the python command that we can use for backward filling and again there is no need to install any other module than the pandas library so this is the data frame we have to fill the null values the method is b fill that is backward filling and then we have to update the data so here we are with the third and the fourth value with 5.63 so this is how we can use backward interpolation so let's move ahead to the third technique that is really famous in the time series data is known as linear interpolation. It is also known as somehow regression interpolation as well. Linear interpolation is actually more recommendable than forward and backward filling. Why? Because it is using weighted averages to fill the missing data. And you can use linear interpolation when your data is evenly spaced. And the next prerequisite for the linear interpolation is that there must be linearity among the variables. All right. So obviously you can use linear interpolation when you're dealing with numerical data with high accuracy. Again, the good news is that pandas also support linear interpolation. So we can use linear interpolation with df dot interpolate. And we have to specify the method and we have to update the data frame. So these are the three techniques that we can use when we have a time series data. But again, there isn't a technique that is really best 
four time series or non-time series data. It really depends the data you are dealing with and the question you are dealing with. So you must have to try different approaches and see which technique is actually working for you. So in the next video, we will be actually looking at the advanced techniques that we can use actually to improve the missing values. So we'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.